Hey, I'm Courtney Waterman, your tutor. Lover of anime, manga, and math. And you just tuned into another session of Tutor Me Senpai. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're jumping into a fourth grade topic, parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular lines. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'll be putting time codes in for this video in the description box below. So use it to skip ahead to whatever part of video you think is most interesting. As always, if you have any questions about what you see today or even your own homework, you can always visit my Facebook page at Tutor Me Senpai and tell me all about it there. This video is going to have four parts, so leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and let's get started! So we're going to start off this video first talking about our parallel lines. Now before we get into parallel lines, let's first have a quick reminder about what a line was. Now on this channel we've covered what lines are, line segments, and rays. And I want you to remember that this is not a line. This is not a line that we're talking about, at the very least. The lines we're talking about need to have your arrows at the end. This lets us know that this line goes on forever and ever and ever in both directions. Those are the lines that we're going to be covering when we're talking about parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular. Also, we talked about if you had points on this, how you would name this, but that's not important for this video. We just want to remember that these are the lines that we're talking about. Now, now that we know what a line is, what is a parallel line? What makes lines parallel? Well, first, you're going to need to have more than one line. You're going to need to have two lines. So just to make sure I have straight lines here. I'm going to use a ruler. And of course, we need our arrows. And we need, like I said, more than one. So let's let's put another one here. Let's have this line here. Put some arrows on that one as well. So there we have two lines. How do we know if we're going to have parallel lines or not? Well, the thing that makes two lines parallel is if they would ever touch. Are they ever going to touch? If lines touch, they're not parallel. If they don't touch, they are parallel. So do your lines touch? But it's not important to know if they touch now, but if they will ever touch. So they may not touch right now, but it doesn't mean that they won't touch later on. Because remember, lines continue forever and ever and ever in both directions. So you don't want to stop just at this. They might not touch right now, but they may touch later. So instead of asking, do your lines touch, you want to know, do your lines touch? ever touch this right here is the key word do they ever touch if your answer is no then you have parallel lines so looking at these two lines will these lines ever touch no if this keeps going on and on over here and this keeps going on and on over here and that does the same Will they ever get to touch? No, they will not. So they don't touch now and they never will. So these are going to be parallel lines. Let's say I had lines like this. Do these touch? No, they're not touching right now. But if this line continues to go on and on and on in both directions like lines do, will it ever touch? Yes. In fact, if you continue this, right this is how the line is going to go and if you continue this that's how the line is going to go they will touch eventually and that means these two are not parallel lines do they ever touch yes so we do not have parallel lines so not parallel because they touch they're not parallel lines. If you can ask yourself, do they ever touch and say yes, you're not going to have parallel lines. 
You want to make sure that you're answering no to that question, and that's how you know you're going to have parallel lines. So now that we've talked about what makes lines parallel, let's now cover what makes lines intersecting. When we're covering intersecting lines, once again, you're going to need more than one line. So let's draw a line. I'm not going to actually have to worry about making it too straight right now, and you'll see why in just a second. But let's say we had this line right here. We want a second line, right? Let's do this right here. You're going to ask yourself the same question. In fact, it's going to be the same exact question you want to ask yourself. Do your lines ever touch? So just like you did for your parallel lines, you're going to want to ask yourself this question because the answer is going to give you a different result, essentially. So ask yourself, do they ever touch? Well, would these ever touch? If I drew them perfectly, they will never touch. So no, no, they're never going to touch. Well, we said that if they never touch, they're parallel. Well, if they're parallel, that means that they're not going to be intersecting because intersecting lines actually means that they do touch. So parallel covers the lines that do not touch and intersecting covers the lines that do touch. So if you have parallel lines, they're not intersecting. If you have intersecting lines, they're not parallel. They're opposites to each other. That's why you can ask yourself the same question, but the result is going to be different. Now we're asking for intersecting lines, and since they do not touch, we can say these are not intersecting. We want lines that do touch when you're looking for intersecting lines. When we have lines that don't touch, that's not it. Those are parallel lines. We don't want those. And just like for parallel lines, it's that ever here, ever. They may not touch right now, but if you were to continue them on. So once again, if we had a line like this, do these touch right now? No, but do they ever touch? Yes, if you continue this going on and on, forever, continue that going on and on forever, continue this going on and on forever, notice that they do touch. So that means that these two lines are in fact intersecting. It doesn't have to be touching right now. As long as they will touch eventually, they will be intersecting lines. And it doesn't even matter where they intersect, as long as they touch. So you can have lines like this, where they touch at one point right here, at the very tip, you can have lines. Well, let's actually make lines here. We want to stay true to our lines. You can have lines where they intersect in the middle somewhere, right? Somewhere in the middle. It doesn't matter if you're at the extreme end or somewhere in the middle. As long as you touch, you're going to be intersecting line. Let me clarify that. As long as you will touch. So even something like this. All three of these pairs are considered intersecting lines. That one touches at the extreme end, this one touches in the middle, and this one will touch if you were to extend them forever and ever and ever. They are all going to say yes to this question, meaning that we have intersecting lines. So now that we've covered parallel and intersecting lines, let's move on to our last line that we're gonna be talking about today, our perpendicular lines. Now we said that your parallel lines are gonna be opposite to your intersecting line. You can't have a line be intersecting with another line and be parallel to that same line. You can't have that. But, but what you can have is a perpendicular line and an intersecting line. And that's because all perpendicular lines have to touch. Therefore, they're going to be intersecting lines. That doesn't mean that all intersecting lines are going to be perpendicular lines, and you'll see why. This right here is an intersecting pair of lines. However, this is not perpendicular. What makes intersecting lines perpendicular is if you have an L shape or a capital T shape. If you have something like this, if your lines make something like this, you're going to have a perpendicular line. That's because 
and I'm gonna be good and try to make them extremely straight. It's because when you have this L shape here or a T shape, you're going to be able to make this box here. And this box is called a 90 degree angle. And you can do it for all four corners here, right? You can make this little box here for all four corners. All four of them are going to be 90 degree angles. When you're intersecting lines, form something like this, you're going to have a perpendicular pair of lines. Your lines are going to cross in this way. Now notice, if you're just looking at these, that's your L. If you're just looking at these, that's your upside down T. If you're looking at this, that's your T. Looking at these, that's your L. Yes, your L. So you see, when you have perpendicular lines, you're going to either have an L or a capital T, capital L or a capital T. And that's because your intersecting lines are special in this case because they're going to form that 90 degree angle, that box here. And you gotta make sure it's straight. Now, my L and T here are not the best, but if you had an exaggerated L like this, that's not how you would write your L's. So that's not like, you know, you wouldn't write it like this way, right? Just like you wouldn't say, you wouldn't have tall written this way, right? We don't want to have our lines wobbling all over the place. We want them to be nice and straight. So a straight L and a straight T, right? That's going to be what you're gonna be looking for for perpendicular lines. So once again, your parallel lines are opposite from your intersecting lines. However, your perpendicular lines are going to be a special type of intersecting line. They touch, but they don't just touch, they're going to touch and give you this L or T, the capital L or T shape, creating your 90 degree angle. And one thing about perpendicular lines is it doesn't matter where on the line it intersects. As long as you get that 90 degree angle forming, that L or T, you're good. So I'm gonna draw this again, right? And you can have something like this, that's straight here, or you can have it all the way down here. It doesn't matter. You can have it right here. You can have it right here. Right? It doesn't matter. All of these are perpendicular. All four of these lines are perpendicular to this line here because each one of them is going to create that 90 degree angle everywhere it intersects. your 90 degree angle everywhere it intersects. Your perpendicular lines can also intersect anywhere. Just like your intersecting lines, they just have to touch somewhere, this is also going to be the case. One last thing before we move into our next part where we cover a few examples. Just like your intersecting lines, your perpendicular lines will also have the special property let me actually be, be good here. I've been using a ruler. Let's make sure I keep using a ruler. Your intersecting line. All right? We said that they don't have to be touching now, but they will have to touch eventually for it to be considered intersecting lines. Well, how about your perpendicular lines? Well, we just said that perpendicular lines are special their special type of intersecting line. So that rule still applies here. They don't have to touch right now, but they will have to touch eventually. If you were to extend these out, you would notice that when you touch, when you touch, cause you will touch, you're going to form 
that 90 degree angle. Therefore, these two lines are perpendicular to each other. They may not be touching right now, but they will touch as you continue this line forever and ever. This will intersect and create that 90 degree angle. So just like you're intersecting, you don't have to touch right now, but you will have to touch eventually. That's also going to be true for your perpendicular. Now we can move on to our examples just to get a few more practice points in so we understand the difference between all three of them. So here we have three really quick examples just to give us a little bit more practice. So our first one, is it going to be parallel, intersecting, or perpendicular? Well, looking at this, ask yourself that first question. Will it ever touch? Does it ever touch? It seems like it does. If you look at this, they're touching right now. You don't even have to imagine them continuing on for forever. It's actually touching. Therefore, that lets us know they're not parallel. But are they gonna be perpendicular or just intersecting? Well, this is not going to give us that straight look where we're gonna get that 90 degree angle. So this is just going to be intersecting. All right, we just have an intersecting pair here. How about number two? Are they touching? Will they ever touch? And if they do touch, are we going to have that 90 degree angle? Well, first question, are they touching? Yes. So we don't even have to worry about will they ever touch? They're actually touching here. So once again, we're not going to have parallel lines. However, is it going to be perpendicular or just another set of intersecting lines? Well, I drew this little box here. You may see one box, you may see all the boxes. Sometimes you may see none of the boxes. But if this right here is truly, truly straight and not some drawing, you can probably tell that this is going to be perpendicular. We're having that T or that L, right? The, either the T or the L creating this 90 degree angle here, making this perpendicular. Now let's move on to our third pair. Are these touching? Will they ever touch? And if they do touch, are they going to give you that 90 degree angle? Well, they're not touching right now. Will they ever touch? Well, imagine we continue both of these on for forever. If these are drawn perfectly, they will indeed never touch. We're never going to touch because they are going to always go side by side for forever. Meaning that these are not intersecting and because they're not intersecting, they cannot be perpendicular, meaning that they have to be parallel. So as long as they touch or will touch, you have intersecting. If they do touch or will touch and you're getting that 90 degree angle, you have perpendicular. But if they're never touching, ever, ever, ever touching, you're gonna have parallel. So I hope you were able to follow along with today's video and help you now understand the difference between your parallel, your intersecting, and your perpendicular lines. However, if you have any questions about what you saw today or even your own homework, remember you can visit me on my Facebook page at Tanumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. If you hadn't done so already, remember to leave that like. It surely helps the channel by letting YouTube know that you found the video helpful. And if you found the video helpful, so can someone else. So leave a like, hit the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, and share the video with a friend. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I'm really hoping this helped your homework, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Courtney, and this has been another session of Tutor Me Simpa.